Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a close look at TT Combat's new gaming system called Rumble Slam. But in particular we're having a look at the miniatures. Now I don't know much about the game as I've not got the box set of the game. So I've not been able to read any rules up on it. But what I do know is that it's all about wrestling. Which is absolutely fantastic. I was a huge fan of the res uh, of wrestling back in the 80s, 90s and early 2000s. I don't get much chance to watch wrestling these days. Um, but if I, it was on the TV and I was there watching it, I'm sure I'd enjoy it. Um, but anyway, let's have a look at the, the miniatures. So first of all, if we take a look around the box, we can see that it's got Rumble Slam and the miniatures that TT Combat has sent me are the Cripborn Nightmares. And as you can see, these look really characterful. You've got a werewolf, a mummy, two skeletons, and what looks like a ghoul or a zombie. And they also sent me like a star player. And this reminds me a little bit of um, Blood Bowl really. Where you've got your team and then your star player. Uh, and then, or your star wrestler as it would be in this case. So we've got Grave Digger. So let's have a look at Grave Digger first of all. Let's see if I need to uh, cut the video and come back with scissors. Which I think I do with this clamshell guys. So I'll be back in a second and we'll open up Grave Digger. Okay guys, so I've cut the clamp pack and this is what we've got inside. So obviously we've got a little bit of foam to keep the miniature in good pristine condition. We get a rumble slam mood. We recommend washing the miniature in warm soapy water prior to assembly. Then removing any tabs with the clippers. Finally glue with the miniature together with super glue. Uh, some gaps may have bubbles need to be filled with putty so just a general guide to putting the miniature together there and as we can see the grave digger looks absolutely awesome I'll be coming back in a minute guys and I'll have them all put together and we'll zoom in closer and I'm definitely going to be going with a helmeted version of the grave digger there as he reminds me of the uh, undertaker from WWE I think he looks fantastic. And then we've got his stack card. Okay, so that's uh, the Grave Digger. I'm just going to move him out of the way. And we also obviously get a base there for him. Uh, it's a clear base. Okay. And then we're going to take a look inside the box, the box set of the Cripborn Nightmares. Okay. Now I've had a look at these previously, and they all come wrapped in a little um, bubble uh, bag, a bubble wrap bag. And we'll have a look at this <laughs> really cool looking miniature. I think these minis, the uh, the sculptor or designer that's come up with these poses, absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can see there he's pointing his finger out and he's looking off to the side and he looks like he's wearing a mankini. <laughs> um, yeah, just really, really cool looking mini. So that's the first one. Then we've got all the components for the big guy, which is the werewolf. But as I say guys, I'll show you what these look like fully built in a moment. I'll just put him off to the side. And then we've got another skeleton. And we can see there's a few components to him as well. Then we've got the ghoul. Don't know whether it's focusing on him. There we go. And last but not least, we've got the mummy. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is just show the bases. 
that we get. We get the large one for the werewolf and then the, the small standard size ones for the rest of them. We also get the stack cards and a nice little plastic wallet. So we've got the skeleton, the zombie, the mummy, the orc skeleton and the werewolf. And we'll come back in a minute guys and we'll have them all built and we'll see what they look like there. So up first guys we have the grave digger. And what I love about these miniatures, they come with clear bases. Now, I would advise you to paint the miniature first and um, assemble it off the base because keeping the base clean, uh, especially if you're priming it, is going to be near impossible apart from uh, masking the base. Well, I'll use a liquid mask, which will create a little bit more effort for me. Um, masking the base but I had to build it just to show you what they look like um, I just spin him round and if you can see there guys I don't know whether I can zoom in much more I don't think I can with this camera but you can see on his torso there there's a little bit of a chunk taken out of his abdomen and you can see through to his guts and a bit of his rib cage there which I think is really really cool sculpting okay so that's a grave digger and I'll just move his card out of the way next up we've got the orc skeleton I'll just focus the camera on him <laughs> I think this is so cool an orc skeleton who would have thought it Sorry if the camera keeps going in and out of focus, guys. I do apologise. Okay, so that's the orc skeleton. Now we've just got a skeleton. Sorry for my uh, mobile phone noise there. And I just love the pose of this, guys. Come on, focus. He's so skinny, the camera just can't pick him up and focus. I think he looks so cool. And <laughs> his little mankini. Eh? <laughs> so that is the skeleton. Now we're going to come to one of my favourite miniatures, if not my favourite miniature from the set, which is the werewolf now look at the size of this dude and with his base he does weigh quite a bit focus there we go I'll just spin him around and he's got such a fantastic pose as well Looks like he's going to leap straight through their air and give someone a Superman punch. <laughs> okay, so that's the werewolf. Now we're going to have the zombie dude. That's a zombie's card. camera is really struggling today guys oh, and so am I I've just knocked his arm off I've only just glued these guys so they're not set yet that's why I'm being very careful uh, with them or not careful as the case may be I'm just holding his arm in place so it uh, resets I won't be a second guys let's see if I can get it on camera A good rule, guys, is when you're actually filming something, is to make sure everything's dry before you film. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to come back in a second. Okay, guys, so we've got the zombie, and it's hard to see his pose because he's so hunched over. Um, let me try and see if I can just lift him up a little so we can see what he looks like. 
There we go. Really cool pose, all hunched over. I'll just spin him round. Okay, and then we've got a last miniature from the miniatures that have been sent to me, and that's the mummy. And again, really cool looking mini miniature. I love the poses. You can tell that these <laughs> are wrestlers by the actual poses that they've been put in. So the sculptor's done a, a tremendous job of capturing uh, those uh, sort of muscular, sort of flamboyant looking poses. I'm just going to line them all up here, guys. And hopefully my camera is not going to go absolutely crazy now. So then we've got the zombie. Yeah, camera's going crazy. And there we go. Oh, there. My dog's off. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. And that's them all lined up guys. Sorry about the background noise. Um, so let me know what you think of Rumble Slam. I really uh, am interested to hear what your thoughts are. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think I will pick the box set game up at some stage and start playing. As I absolutely love Blood Bowl. The theme of wrestling is absolutely fantastic. And the miniatures, as you can see, they look stunning. Beautiful resin miniatures, real simple to put together, and I love the clear bases as well. Great idea. So um, let me know what you think of the miniatures in the comments uh, field down below. Check the description box and there'll be a direct link to TT Combat's web store and you can go and check out the Rumble Slam miniatures yourself. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.